Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's Varsity Cast and Comets matchup, where they placed ho play host to the Culver Cavaliers. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Aubrey Degg. Aubrey, welcome. Hello. I'm here again. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a while since we've had uh, any cast and RTC4 coverage. Uh, we had the holiday break, and I hope everybody had a safe and happy holiday. <clears throat> and uh, I, one of the great gifts that I received over the holidays was a head cold. So uh, hopefully I don't cough and blow anybody's speakers out at home. I will do my best to prevent that. Uh, tonight's matchup, we did uh, unfortunately just see the JV Comets fall in a heartbreaking 39-35 loss to the uh, JV Cavaliers. Uh, John Harrell predicting a 24-point victory for the Comets tonight. So hopefully the Comets can uh, <clears throat> come through and uh, avenge their JV comrades here as uh, we go live to tip off here in uh, just under five minutes. So you guys at home, go ahead and get your snacks ready, get your drinks ready. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Casting Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Got that new home addition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there. Home, auto, life, yep. business, farm, boat, right. RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus. Right. Did I mention farm? Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. 
At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. The timer is counting down. We will be getting underway here in just a few moments. Starting lineups for the Cavaliers. We have number three, Owen Valquette. Valquette. <laughs> number four, Hunter Mann. Number ten, Owen Klingler. Number fifteen, Braxton Conley. And number twenty, Jalen King. And Culver fans, if you're watching a cast and broadcast for the first time, I mess up names left and right, so it's a tradition now. For the comments, number four, Luke Lau. Number 10, Cade Zider. Number 21, Joey Spin. Number 13, Hunter Shanelob. And number 33, Mike Rands. Once again, John Harrell predicting a 24-point victory for the Comets tonight. Wow, so, that's a really good prediction. I mean, I hope it comes to that. Well, uh, the Comets did win the last matchup between these two teams by, I think it was 10 points. So uh, we'll see We'll see how this goes. I know the Comets have really been, been meshing well this year. They, they've been... Yes. Um, uh, is their season six and five? Is that their That sounds record? one moment. Um, I know it's a pretty good record. Five and four. Five and four. Sorry, that my, that's my bad. But I knew they had a good so record. We, we, yeah, a, we're a having a really record. good season. And the one thing that the Comets are really going to have to keep track of is um, 
keeping those passes under control. Yes, yeah. And that's kind of where we saw it <coughs> lost in the JV game. Absolutely. Is, I mean, they just got the pressure of the game, which turned into silly turnovers and silly passes, which, and, you know, I understand the pressure that you get under when you're down two points or, you know, up right. two points. Shane Lobb off the mark. Oh, out of bounds. And uh, I did talk to Junior Micah Colvin right before the uh, right before the JV game, and he informed me he has a partially torn meniscus and is looking wow. at sitting out for six weeks. Unfortunately. Wow. You know, and that that really hurts when you know you find out you have an injury that makes you have to sit out. Absolutely. I mean, we have several girls on our team that. Uh, they've had it they have to sit out now and we actually so senior Sophie gels I mean she has to sit out now and doesn't even get to play in her senior night and you know that's kind of when you right. realize you can't take these things for granted and you have to take Absolutely. what you're given and which is hard to understand sometimes with an injury like the like a torn meniscus Shane Love for two with a torn meniscus it's one of those things though you can push through it and tear it worse and maybe you know yeah. you know ruin the the rest of your high school athletic career and maybe not walk right again for the rest of your life yeah. so uh it's the smart thing to sit down and rest it but i know it's frustrating for micah because he is a, a competitive athlete and i mean it's cross court pass intercepted by shane Lom. it's ironic to say but um uh, you know we're <coughs> facing culver and the girls lost to culver last night um unfortunately but one of their players um Shedro, Maddie Shedro, I mean, she she has something to her. I mean, we don't know the full situation. Only, like, the school team, you know, right. they know. But I know she's fighting an injury, but she's still playing, and she is still an amazing player. You know, that's how strong some of these people are. Right. And they never show, like, that they're hurting. You know, it's kind of amazing what some people put themselves through because they love the game. Right. Um, you know, but in Micah's case, I know that he also is looking forward to track season as well. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, that that injury plagued him, or an injury in the knee has plagued him since cross-country season. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, he was a state hopeful early on, and then just uh, with that injury, he lost some time and couldn't make it out of semi-state. Yeah. Well, I think a travel just got away with, but three-pointer for number 20, Jalen King. Oh, I heard long. Not sure what Mr. King said, but there was three up on the board. Oh, wow. And Shane Lobb gets fouled going to the basket. Almost an and one. Foul on Conley, his first team first. Foul on Conley, his first team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Up and in. Shane Love has a really flat free throw, which, I, you know, a lot of times taller guys do that. As I was gonna say, it probably has to do with height-wise, because I noticed that some of our taller girls on our team, I mean, their shot is just flatter, but they're also more even with the hoop, I guess, than, you know, someone my height. Well, back, back in my day, back in wow. the 90s, uh, Shaquille O'Neal had a terrible time with free throws because he was so tall and he wouldn't bend his knees and he put no arch on his shot and then it just smacked, like skim over the rim and bounce out. See, that's actually one of the craziest things that I, I had to like, I wasn't personally a part of this, but people had to learn how to jump. I mean, cause you know, they're used to being tall and just being above right. everyone else and picking off rebounds and just shooting flat footed right. cause they're already that high. off the mark. Oh. But, you know, for me, I've always had a jump in everything. <laughs> I mean, to get the ball there, I have to jump about five feet forward. Really good ball movement by the comments. Three-pointer by Zyder, three. oh. off the mark. Mm. And Cavs rebound that. The Cavaliers are really looking to get it inside. They do a lot of driving, so I almost wonder if most of them aren't 
necessarily comfortable on the three-point line. I mean, we've only seen one three go up for them. That's true. I believe. But and most of it has been just on dribble penetration. Three-point attempt by uh, Ziaja. Up and off the mark. Spin into the paint. Looking Out for that three. three oh. Just off the mark. Those near misses may come back to haunt the Comets at the oh. end. And two points there by Jalen King. All five points on the board for Culver by King so far tonight. Outside to spin to the corner to Lau. Back to spin. Zyder to Lau, that, that pass could have, that was a high risk pass. Really looking for that down and under, oh wow, there we go. Open yeah, three for Zyder, finally three. drops. Conley to the baseline, gets trapped. And for the Cavs, number 11, Cam Klein, 22, Jesse Rockwell. And then for the Cavaliers, number 10, Jesse Rockwell from Klein coming in for the Comets. And Klingler for Culver. Spin breaks left, kicks it to Klein in the corner. To the post to Shane Lobb gets stripped. I think there was a foul called on that, though. Yes, there was a foul, actually. Foul called on number 20, Jalen King. And I think a few of them were kind of surprised by that foul being called. Yeah, I think it was... Uh, you know, it was one of those calls that... Well, and I'm also... 50 I'm also a little surprised by Shane Lobb being on the line. I don't... I wasn't sure he had transitioned up. Yeah, I didn't... I don't know. Again, it was a 50-50, and you didn't really right. know it, what was going on. But that's that's one of those calls that but we'll take the free throws. Absolutely. <clears throat> that was one of those calls that I'm. I, I bet the ref didn't even know if he was going to make it or not until he blew that whistle. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a close. I mean, and sometimes. You don't really know what's going on. You just call it because there's something there. You just right. don't know what. Making a fast break for the comments. And up and in for Shane Love. Coast to coast and puts it in. Man, acting like he was going to do the same. Dishes it out to Klingler. Oh. Ooh, another near pass turn over there. Ziaja over to Klingler. Klingler at the volleyball line. Floats it inside. Looking for that open shot. Oh. Ziaja from the paint drops it for two. Man, it really just bounced around there. Definitely did not fall in our favor. 11 7 comments now with 132 left in the first. Wow, nice fake on that three. Over the corner spin. Underneath to Shane Lobb. He's going to dish it out. Klein for three. Oh, wow. What was that called? It was a foul of some sort. <laughs> foul was on 13, Shane Lobb. Was it a shove? Was it? Well, what I, I, did they call that? I don't. He was playing piano. That was what the. <laughs> I don't well, know. I mean, I'm not sure what he, that hand I signal think when was. When he first called it, it looked like it was going to be a charge. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what that one was. But then he acted like it. He I'm just not, shoved him, yeah, which is basically like a charge, kind of, I guess. Right. I'm just trying to figure kind out of. what that hand gesture well, that the ref was using was. I, I don't know. 
I guess I don't really know what the call was. Somebody, somebody. I was too busy watching the shot go up and not about you know who was gonna push who. Somebody's gonna text oh. me, tell me what an idiot I was. What is? Wow. I. Wow, I don't know what that I, was either. <laughs> I'm surprised there wasn't a foul call. I, I am too, but you know it was pretty clean. Oh. oh Rand's off the mark there. Culver with that rebound. And there's oh, a foul. foul. Foul's on spin, I think. Foul on 21. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm kind of surprised Culver's pulling their people back. They're in the game. Like, they're not even fighting for the rebound. First free throw which, up and off the mark for, for Ziaja. Which that really just isn't normal unless you're just trying not to foul no matter what, you know? So, I don't know, that's kind of odd. <clears throat> oh. Second shot drops, that was. I thought it was gonna get stuck up there. <laughs> Klingler just barely, get, or Klingler, Klein just barely getting a hold of that pass. Over spin, 18 seconds left in the first. Palmas really nice. looking for that last shot. They get deep and then they pull it back out again. Oh, there and we go. Spin gets fouled hard on the way to the basket. <coughs> I was about to say too, I mean, we haven't seen his dribble drive as much so far in the first quarter, but I mean, there it was. He tried to go for it, went in there, and. Yep, foul there was on uh, on King. That's his second, team third. Spins first free throw is good. 22, Jesse Rockwolf in for the Comets. Rockwolf back in for the Comets. And then I see Brummett staged back here. We haven't seen him on the floor a lot this so far this season. Second shot up and off the mark. Wait, did you say, where did you see him at? Cause he's, he's staged oh. down by the... Uh, oh, okay. Oh. Three-pointer for Ziaja off the mark. And we will go into the second. Comets 12, Culver 8. And we're going to step away for a quick word from our sponsors. Stay tuned for second quarter ball here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Uh, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to go into the second quarter here. Uh, as you can see on the scoreboard, cast in 12, cover 8. Uh, there were points where it looked like uh, Kasten was going to take the quarter and run away with it, and then uh, Culver had an answer. So, early in the game, still anybody's game. Oh, yeah. Easily. I mean, only a four-point lead for the comments. And well, and there again, um, we saw the JV comments lead by as much as five. They had a two-point lead at the half. and uh, Really, in the game of basketball, in my opinion anyway, ten points is still... Depending Anyone's on, ball game. I mean, and, yeah. with two minutes on the board even still, I mean, that's a lot of time. It really, really can be. It's a long time. You have to take 10 seconds to get across the half court. I mean, especially if you have a running game, that's a lot of running, a lot of fouls that could happen. Right. So, I mean, a lot can happen those last two minutes. You can't count anyone out of the ball game just yet. All right. We got Valakhet over to man. Up to Ziaja, long Ziaja three. for a long three, air balls it. Hey, now we see Brahman out there. Yeah, that's what I said, he was getting ready to go in. Oh. He was down well, by the, okay. oh, I thought he you was meant down on the bench, by the, and I was like, no, I don't. he was down by the scorer's well, table. Well, originally I thought you meant he was on the floor already, and then I was like, no, he's wow. not. Wow. 
Brummett fighting hard to get across yeah. midcourt. So that was a lot of contact. Kind of surprised Klein didn't get called for an up and down there. Oh. And pass gets tipped. Over the top. There's another over the top pass, but he came up with it. And uh, number 15, Braxton wow. Conley taking it to the taking it to the basket, putting two more on the board. Shane Lobb at the post puts it in for two. You know, so far this game, Shane Lobb has done a really good job in the post. I mean, usually we see him work it, but kick it back out. But he's gotten a lot of points so far for the comments yep. just underneath and posting up. I don't know if there's someone out here. Right now, Shane Lobb has half of the comments shut points. him down. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you'll get those games where you have an equal player. Or you have someone that's just not quite right. able to shut them out of the game. <clears throat> Ball goes underneath, and Conley gets fouled on that. He'll go to the line for two. Most of Culver's points have been underneath, like just backdoor passes. Yeah. Foul on Zyder, his first, team third. 15, Conley at the line for two. First shot up, rattles in and out. Spin and Lau taking the floor again for the Comets. Second shot up, off the back. Yeah, I'm not sure about uh, Culver pulling all their players back again. And you know, I would understand if, you know, they were, no offense, but promising free throw shooters. Right. I mean, most of their free throws, at least I don't believe, have fallen. Uh no, they're one for three or one for four so far. Here so tonight. I mean, you know, I would understand <coughs> if they were right. Yeah, they're gonna go in, no big deal. Let's not waste a foul or in case. But I mean, that's just not what's happening. They take the time to go and set up their defense instead. Which I mean, you know, maybe that's just a tactic for the long run of let's not maybe exert the energy and lose the foul or something, and you know, risk a fast break. Right. There's spin a pickoff by there. spin. No good. Spin across midcourt. Rands from the paint. Ugh. No good. Gets his own rebound. And oh, putback's no good. Rebound. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the putback for the putback was good. Yeah. I but mean, way to stick with it there, getting his own rebounds. And, and then his own rebound. And then his own rebound. Right. And then getting it points. <laughs> Which, I mean, sometimes it's just the dedication to getting the ball back and putting it back up. He just said, forget it, I'll do it myself. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, he was in triple coverage there, too, so. Yeah. It wasn't like it was Three wide open. Three pointer by number four, Hunter Mann. It's good. Spin out to Zyder. The Cavs have really picked up their coverage here in the second quarter. They really have. Oh, Hunter going there to the hole. Go. Oh, wait. Makes it. And no, that's charge. I did not see anyone set up down there. I mean, I really didn't. Maybe there was someone, but. Definitely not set enough to take a charge. Ball across midcourt. Fast break through the paint. It's no good. Spin. Picks it out to Lau. Lau and triple coverage. Puts it in for two. They're earning every shot they take into the paint. Hey, 
Got number 54, Austin Zaner, out on the floor now for the Cavs. <coughs> did he play some in the JV game? He did. Okay. I say I thought I recognized him, but I wasn't for sure. But they don't have a separate nope man. roster. And Zyder for three. three and the Cavs going to call a timeout after that, so we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets and Cavaliers basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30 second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15 second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first time home buyers. And with our premier first-time homebuyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coming back from that timeout, Kasten now with a an eight-point lead over the Cavaliers. That happened pretty quick. You, it's like you were saying here at the beginning of the second. A ten-point lead really can oh yeah come and go really quickly in the game of basketball. Three-pointer up and in. That's a two. Okay, fine. Nice try, Blair. <coughs> nice try. I thought he was behind the arc. Wow. We'll take, we'll, we'll give him two. Oh. And bad pass there, picked off. Oh, that was a really good rebound by Sam Smith. But we can't get in the habit now of just trading turnovers. Yes. Oh, oh. I didn't even see who put that up. Yeah, I. In and either. I just saw it bounce off the rim. And Coach Davis calling for 30 seconds. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after these words on RTC TV4. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at coalliancepropane.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Spin over to Lau. Back over to Lau on the left side. Rands on the right, sends it down to the post to Sam oh. Smith. Get all, oh, oh, oh. Ball off the mark and. Wow, I thought he had his own rebound and then he didn't and then I thought he rehad it. Oh. And two points for Ziaja down on the other end. I don't know what Davis said in that timeout, but they've slowed down the game. A lot. Well, you know, and that's probably the smart thing. Once well, you get yeah. a commanding lead. Oh, there's a three. Ah. Uh, in and out, and Culver coming up with that rebound. <laughs> and wow. another basket underneath for Ziaja. I don't know how that pass even got in there. And just like that, cast him back down to a two-point lead. Yeah. 
I mean, we're just trading baskets, but it's not in our favor, which is the hard part because, I mean, once you start losing by so many points and they get so many on top of you. Right. It's Lau hard. for three. It drains it. Good. Just effortless on that. 31 seconds left in the half. Man, cross midcourt, hang out in the middle ring, floats it in towards the free throw line. I'm just gonna let that clock run down a little bit so they get that last shot. <coughs> Ziaja holding the ball off to man. Six seconds now. And oh, too hard go. on that shot, and that'll be the half. There we go. So we're, we are going to head into the locker room. Comets 24, Cavs 19. We're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors while I try to get some first half stats going here. Uh, stay tuned. We'll have halftime stats here in just a few minutes here on Caston TV on RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer online at www.rtc1.com. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. Enjoy full screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku. Another great service from RTC. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Have some uh, halftime stats going on here. Uh, Comets, three for seven outside the arc. Four for nine, if I can read my chicken scratches. Four for nine in two-point territory and shooting five for six from the free throw line. Went into the locker room with four team fouls. Uh, the Cavaliers shooting two for six outside the arc. Six for ten inside two-point territory, and only one for four from the line. Uh, three fouls in the first half for them. Um, and uh, really even on turnovers, Comets six and seven, Cavs seven and six. So, yeah, when I say even matchup, I mean oh, yeah, even it's matchup. Close. So. Um, not unless the uh, Comets come out just absolutely on fire, though. We're not going to see that 24-point spread that John Harrell no. was. I mean, they are both 
honestly, I would compare them easily to us. I mean, they all have drive. They've all gone hard. They have rebounders. They have three-point shooters. And they have people that can work in the post. I mean, they, uh, they're just really go-getters. And everyone's working hard. So, yes. yeah, that 24-point lead, I don't... <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. I mean, that'd be great. No offense to any Culver people listening, but I mean. Right. Well, when you look at the shot percentages, though, um, Comets really, we, we need to pick it up in field goal territory. Uh, but we're really, uh, I mean, we're shooting just under 50% outside the arc. They, the Cavs are shooting 33%. Uh, but we're only shooting about 40% inside where they're shooting 60%. Uh, so, uh, but we are five for six from the line and they are just shooting 25%. Honestly, um, it almost, of course, we, we've only seen two people at the line. Yeah, uh, that's true. But if that's indicative of the hole, if we can send them to the line without getting key players in foul trouble, that might be the way to defeat them in the second half. I mean... Easily, I mean, uh, free throws, again, I said it before, say it again, say it every time I'm on here. Free throws matter. They oh, absolutely. Are huge. Games are won and lost. The and number of times that the missed free throws from the losing team are more than the deficit by which they uh, yeah. lost. Yeah, and uh, that's why it's so surprising to me again to see that. Culver doesn't have their people up there trying to rebound. Right. I mean, okay, stop the fast Especially. break or, you know, it's just, it's crazy because they're not even there to get the rebound if for a possible putback. Right. I mean, we've watched Shane Lobb get the rebound from one of our own free throws and have a putback, and that's two more points on the board. Right. Or the flip side, you know. Just uh, talking about the importance of that putback, Mike Rands getting his own oh, yeah. getting his own rebound twice in a yeah. row before he finally got Second it to drop. Second chances. I mean, those are you know, hard. Does it look good for your season stats? No, but it's better than a turnover. Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's better than giving up a rebound. It looks good if you are going off a rebound points. But, well, there you go. Uh, missed shots percentage, <laughs> that's not real great. But <laughs> right. I mean, he put up a fight, and he really went out there with all of his effort. And, it paid off, actually, in the end. Absolutely. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got just about, just under three and a half minutes left here in halftime. Going to go ahead and let you guys uh, refill your popcorn, refill your drink, and uh, we'll be back here in just about three minutes for a second half action. Stay tuned. This is Casting TV on RTC TV4.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully the second half is just as exciting as the first. Uh, you know, it could be anyone's ball game. I actually did a few stats, and I forgot to mention during halftime. But we actually outscored them between the first and the second by one point. We scored 11 points, and they or 12 points, and they scored 11. Shane oh. Love going to the hole, getting his own rebound there and drawing go. the foul. And one. Of course, the last time we thought he got an and one, he picked up a charge. That's true. That's true. Uh, Thankfully, fouls on. there is no charge right here. Fouls on number 15. Braxton Conley, his first. Wait a minute. Board says his second. Oh. And Shane Law missing the and one. His first free throw miss of the night. I thought he missed one early in the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's a really good percentage. Oh. In the paint, fake up and off the mark. Comments oh. with that rebound. I don't know how that was sent a foul somewhere. Yeah, it looked pretty violent down there. But. Oh, there we go. Ref said no blood, let him play. You know, sometimes in a game, you just, you pick and choose what you actually want to call. Yep, Shin Love for there two. There we go. Didn't necessarily look pretty, but it went in. Uh, that was a rest time. It looks like <coughs> number four had something going on. I don't know. He's still playing, though, so. Not sure. Doesn't look very happy, though. But. Oh. Oh, wait, he went head to jaw with spin. Oh, I do not know how that was not foul. I say I think that's his going out right there. Yeah, his head collided with Spin's jaw, and evidently uh, Joey has a jaw made of rock because he didn't even flinch. Yeah, no, I, I also kind of thought it hit him more in like the chest, maybe as even his elbow, that could or be. like his shoulder, because I like used to say, like you said, Joey didn't even act yeah. like it faced him. And if it was his job, yeah, I, would think, think, uh, I, would think. I would think it would phase him. Down to the post oh. to Shane Lobb. Tried to kick it back out to Zyder, and pass just didn't connect the way he wanted. And Shane Lobb going to pick up a charge. No, nope, no. Nope, that's a foul. See, now he dropped his shoulder. That looked like well, a charge. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes, that was on number I mean, 15, Conley. Guys drop their shoulders a lot. They, like, go into them, pull back out, and then shoot. So I never know what's going to be a charge and what isn't. Right. That, that free throw is pretty. Just real soft touch on that. Cam Klein back in for the comments, giving uh, Joey a rest. Second shot drops, and I noticed Culver lining up down under for the free throws this time. Well, maybe Joey did get hit in the head. I mean, not being nosy or anything, but I mean, he was, he just went out and immediately they had him talking to Jordan. So, you know, oh. Swatted. So maybe it was his jaw and he just didn't flinch. That was kind of a nice baseline move there by Zyder. There Rams we go. For two. That was really pretty. It just went straight in the net and fell. And he went up through a, a, a sea of a thousand hands on that. Refs talking to a couple guys out there on the floor. Timeout called by the Cavaliers. Not sure, but the Cavs are calling a timeout. So we're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. 
Stay tuned, you're watching Cast and TV on RTC TV4. The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Got the guys taking the taking back out to the hardwood here. Caston has stretched out to a 32-19 lead over Culver. Let's hope they can keep going with this lead. Uh, you know, sometimes timeouts just take away the momentum of the moment. Absolutely. And you have to just rebuild it all up. <clears throat> Icing the players. Uh, but, you know, usually halftime is the big one where it's hard to come back out and play. You know, a timeout is sometimes just enough time to yeah, foul give called them time here. So Klein picking up a uh, foul. His first team first for the half, and uh, King will go to the line. Excuse me, King will go to the line for an end one. That was a that was a lot of backspin. That almost looked like one of Rockwolf's shots. Yeah, well, he has a lot of spin. You know, I bet if you videotaped his. Him shooting, it would be like, you know, car tires and yeah. commercials when they kind of look like they go the other direction. Right. Yeah, I think that would be the ball when he shoots because it just has so much spin on it. Ziaja to Conley. Oh, wow. Got a shove called here. Is that on Lau? I believe so. Yes. Yeah. His first, team second. Ball into the Basse Keller, that's Balakat. Back out to King, now the volleyball win. The game was definitely very much slowed down since that timeout. Yeah. But, I mean, we haven't also been in possession, so we still haven't put our pace back into play. Right. Right now, we're definitely playing. Oh, wow. Wow, that was a clean block, which is kind of surprising because yeah. there was a lot of potential for that to be a hatchet. Oh, everyone was thinking that was going to be a 3 Yeah, pointer. even... The whole bench stood the up whole and was like, yeah, up. three, and then it was not a three. Which, I mean, he had an open look, and he's a pretty good three-point shooter, so I would have expected him to go for it. Shot off the mark by Conley. Sent out of bounds by the Comets. What? What was just whistled there? Thirty-three. Oh, that'd be Mike Rans. Rans. It's his first. I didn't even see that foul. I happen. didn't see that foul, but I mean that's just one of those fouls that we don't need. King for I mean. three, off the mark. And they got their own rebound. Oh, another clean pick. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a foul. Uh, 
Shane Love's third. And for the Thomas, number 20, Sam Smith, and 21, Joe Spin. Spin and Smith in for the Comets. Seems some new faces. Maybe we'll get like a little bit more energy. I mean, Shane Lobb, he was bringing so much, and so was Rockwell, but Shane Lobb just couldn't keep the fouls away. I mean, well, he already he, had three. Well, he looked frustrated he when he sat frustrated. down. Yeah, I mean. And that's, I've seen that a lot. Um, you've got a couple of teammates that I see get frustrated, and then the fouls just start coming. That's when it goes from bad coming. to worse, yeah. So, I mean, it was a good, good idea to take him out before he picked up his fourth and then right. we, they couldn't use him, I mean, really much in the fourth quarter when we would really need him. Right. 301 left in the third. 32-22, cast and lead. Keeping it out of the volleyball line. There's Fine for three. Oh, it's over. A ah. little too hard. And, oh, oh, that was a that foul. Was a foul. Culver picking up that uh, rebound, and then uh, foul on Sam Smith there. Foul on number 20, Sam Smith, his first. Made a hard swap for the ball and didn't get the ball at all. We are just really picking up the fouls in this last couple of minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and we're nearing the bonus, so that could really hurt us. So hopefully we can keep that under control in the next two minutes and 30 seconds. That's on the board. King over to Klingler. Back out to Ziaja. The corner to Valaket off the mark on that three. No comments there to rebound, but. Put back by Ziaja off the mark. Tell you what, Hunter oh. Mann just playing some really tight yeah, up defense top. up top. And oh. Comets are really getting frustrated right they now. Are. They can't, they don't have what they need to be able to run the offense that they're looking for. I mean, again, they're, they really were thrown off by that timeout. I mean, they haven't picked up their same rhythm since. Yeah. And actually, they haven't really scored since then either. No, the, the game has been scoreless for the last little while. And we have a shove down here. Is that on Rands? Cam? I th maybe? Klein. Klein, yeah. His second. Team six. And now we got some of the refs looking exasperated out here. I mean. Everybody's mad. It's going to turn into a ballroom blitz. Just Man just for out. three. Off. Let's, Off. There we go. There's the rebound. You know, what's important, though, is we are still getting rebounds, not giving them too many putbacks. Right. So, you know, that, again, could be a game changer. Uh, yeah, getting and denying those second chances is is a there big deal. And Rand's putting two on the board. Rand's breaking that scoring drought. Just over one minute left here in the third. There we go, there we go. Oh. Lau getting back, not knowing where the ball is going to go. Oh. And not Ziaja a good just trade -off. going coast to coast there. Not a good trade off there. Oh, Klein had that open three. I thought he was going to take it. Oh. Damn. Oh, wow. I say, are we in the bonus? Yeah. Yep. So we'll go down for one and one. Foul was on number 11, Donovan Ziaja. Or was against Ziaja. Sorry, foul was on Mike Rands. His second. The line for the Cavaliers is number 11, Donovan, shooting one and one. A lot of subs going in. It looks like 
Uh, Zyder. Um, Shane Lob just went in, too. It was... Joey's been in the whole time. There was someone else that just went in, too. Looking for a new setup, new faces. Trying to get, yeah. Trying to get a combination on the floor uh, that's going to... Hopefully Shane Lob's in there trying to get that post work again like he had going earlier. I mean, he had a lot of really good layups. Yeah. Hunter, man, super aggressive up top with that defense. You know, it just... Klein for three. Oh. And off the mark as we close out the third. Cast in 34, Cavs 24. And a lot more turnovers in that quarter. All right, we're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors and we'll be right back for fourth quarter action here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. Were you one of nearly 7,000 patients we served last year? If not, I'd like to invite you to check out our locally owned pharmacies. Transferring your business is easy to do. Just one call and we'll take it from there. While our competitive prices are important, our success comes from our knowledgeable and compassionate staff. Make Webb's Family Pharmacy your pharmacy. Just one call and we'll take it from there. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready for the last eight minutes of gameplay here tonight. Assuming, of course, that the Cavaliers don't tie it up and take us into overtime. Yeah. So, uh, Aubrey, you were saying right before we came back that Kasten did, in fact, win the third quarter as well. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it was. Uh, we outscored them ten to five. So, I mean, if if we could keep that going going into the fourth, I mean, it's definitely our ball game. But. But once again, it's a 10-point game. Say, That's it's only, is, is it still a really close game? 10 points could go either way. And we just saw the Comets getting frustrated, not really being able to set up their offense as well as they had hoped. Right. You know, just not getting as open looks as they were before. But Culver's also stepped up their defense a lot. Right. Um, they man set out. Man three I off say, the mark. They set man out there, too. And he's really done a lot of pestering with our guards up top. There we go. Fine for three. You know, it's funny. They actually left Cam wide open. Just wide open. And Cavaliers calling a timeout after that. We'll still come back after this word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, The Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit The Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 7.09 left here in the game. Cast in 37, Culver 24. And uh, right before the break, we saw Cam Klein sink a three-pointer. And uh, I think it's one of those situations where he was just, he was having some shooting woes from outside, but Cam Klein is a shooter. And, he is. Uh, the Cavs left him open after a couple of near misses, and they just paid for it by three points. Well, maybe they'll make that mistake again, and we'll sink a couple more <laughs> and move on with our night. I mean, that'd be a great way to end tonight and go into the weekend. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. Nice Clean pick, pick there by Klein. Oh, oh and there he's going to draw the foul, too. I didn't know if they were going to call that foul <coughs> there, honestly. I kind of thought they were going to, like, let it be, but hopefully we can sink these. Fouls on number 10, Owen his Klingler, first his first, third. team third. Now that's the one thing that can come back and, beat and bite the comments is that foul deficit. Yeah, they are no way yeah. in foul trouble, and we have some sitting on 
three. You're right. A two. Uh, Luke is in now for uh, Cade. But once again, in years past, we have a uh, second shot off the mark as well. We've had, uh, you know, single players that if they're in foul trouble, the team's in trouble. And this year, yeah. you know, I look down the roster and I see, you know, I see we can sit two or three guys even and still not be in trouble as a program this yeah. year. It's a nice change of pace. I'd say, and Coach Davis does a really good job of subbing in kids. I've seen that with him. Is he, he gives everyone a chance. You know, he knows where their strong spot is, and he lets them shine in that area. Yeah, Ziaja off the mark, and we had a collision down here. Put. Put Ziaja uh, on the floor, but he, he got the foul off of it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, throughout the game, I've seen him nursing that neck. I mean, there's, I mean, number four, too, he's been, you know, acting like he's hurt and stuff. So, you know, maybe that's, we have fouls, but they might be nursing injuries that we don't know about. So, Absolutely. I mean, both teams could be at a deficit. Oh, wow. And not sure what just happened. I went out of bounds. Well, oh, <laughs> thank you, Captain Obvious. I didn't make the connection. Well, well I'm just not sure why. Yeah, he just, I mean, I more mean, power than what he thought he had, I guess. I mean, kudos to him. <laughs> it was a good pass, just not to anybody. So, but I mean, we can, we'll, we'll come back from that. Yep, one, one bad pass does not a night make. Man, gonna hold the ball here. Uh, not the score with which I would play much stall ball, but. Yeah, but it's also served them well. This is their pace of game, and we have to remember that. I mean, in the third quarter, right. they were starting to hold the ball. The Comets kind of slowed down their defense, and that's not what they're used to. They are better when it's a running game. They go off of what The flip they side want, to that, though is that the Comets were able to hold them to a scoring drought as well. We just had a long stretch in the third where nobody scored. Oh, that's another foul on Shane Long. That's his fourth. Wow. And it looks like Spin will go in for Shane Long. I saw the, the ref telling him why he called it yeah. a hold. I mean, yeah. he's just, with that wingspan that Shane Love has, it's really easy for him to kind oh, of start yeah. hugging the oh, guy. Yeah. And I think that's what the ref was signaling. Yeah, first shot off the mark there for Conley. He's 0 for 3 from the line tonight. Again, yeah, just not real outstanding at the free throw line. It just it blows my mind. I've never really seen that from so early on. There we go. Now we're getting the ball moving. Rams Opening driving to the that. post. Oh, and just a little, just too, a little too soft. There's a foul. There we go. And uh, draws a foul on the post. Okay. Getting his own rebound, putting it back up, yep. drawing the foul. Fouls on number 20, Jalen King, his third. His third. Team fifth. Rams at the line with two shots. And just like that, Comets are pretty close to being put into at least single bonus as well. So, yeah. First shot off the front of the rim. Rands his first free throw of the light night, though. He just hasn't had much time in the line to practice it tonight. And, you know, hopefully this game doesn't come down to free throws. I mean, these boys have really worked hard and you know, it is unfortunate that Shane Lobb has four fouls sitting on because we could really use him down there in the post. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's a and charge. And there you go. Plant your feet. Take the charge. Foul on Conley, his fourth. There, there is now someone in and foul trouble. So Jalen King, number 20. He's very close. He's at three. Pick, putting on a press now. 
I mean. Ball into spin, spin and double coverage. Ooh, over to that was Lau. real close. But then after Lau, you know, man overruns Lau and then Lau had all the room he needed to maneuver. Five minutes here left on the clock. See, if I was the comments, and I'm, I'm not, <laughs> but if I was, here's where I would do some holding. Although Culver is playing a tight defense game, so yeah, that makes. It's hard to hold when they're that close because you have a shot clock on you. Right. And these refs are definitely watching close. Absolutely. I mean, they've done a good job throughout the game of watching that stuff. I wondered if that call was, and that'll be Conley's fifth. He's going to sit down now. Timeline number 15, Braxton Conley, that's his fifth. Team number seven. And spin of the line for one and one. These refs have definitely done a really good job of uh, talking it out with. Yeah, they're ex they explain the to the players. Like, after every time the whistle blows, I see them down there talking to the guys. Yeah, I mean, several times. Like Shane Love, when he got his fouls and just when he fouled out, I mean, he went and explained to the player, explained to the coach what was happening. Yeah. And I think that's really good to see in a ref. Um, and even when they brought the two boys together to talk about them, I, mean, I don't know what was going on, but Spend it's definitely it to good the hard to way. know that what's happening on the floor, what they're seeing, and how to make it a better game. Yeah. King, looking for a play. Falcat out to man, man for three. That's Nails it. A lot of arc on that. Wow. <coughs> and once again, full court press put on. And there's a foul call. It looks like number 11, the way he's yeah. holding his head. Um, I say, I think it's three. Yeah. Three. Oh. Four, Luke Lau, to shoot one and one. Lau not at the line yet tonight either, so. Shots up. There we go. A lot of backspin on Lau's shot, too. I mean, the boys, they work hard at free throws. They so, do. I mean, really they good free throw percentage for the Cowboys. have really tonight. good percentage here. And just as we say and, that, we know, jinx it. We Shouldn't have said it, but hopefully it doesn't come to bite us in the end. That's off. Yeah. That was yeah. That was short. Okay, sorry not to call it before it does anything, but I mean sometimes you just know, and then there's those other times where you're like, oh, that's off, and it goes in. Oh, nice there we save. Go. Really thought that was going out of bounds. I think everybody and, thought uh, that was going out of bounds. As I say, coach definitely thought it was going out of bounds too. Three and a half minutes left to play. Culver keeping the pressure up. They're really coming out. They understand now. exactly what you were talking about oh, earlier. Is, what are we calling it? Oh, we oh, had a timeout call. Timeout. That was perfect timing. Perfectly timed timeout. So we're going to step away perfect. for a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Hello, I'm Harry Webb of Webb's Family Pharmacy. There's been a lot of hype about CBD oil. The truth is, you better know what you're getting. St. Jean CBD products from Webb's Family Pharmacy deliver 99% pure CBD extract in a natural hemp seed oil. They are an Indiana-based company committed to quality and purity from farm to pharmacy. St. Jean CBD products are only sold in pharmacies. So talk to one of our pharmacists at your local Webb's Family Pharmacy to help select a safe CBD product that can help bring balance to your life. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just under three and a half minutes left on the clock. 14-point cast and lead. And honestly, as much pressure as the Cavs are putting on, uh, the way that the night's gone, it could really still be anybody's ball game. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've picked up their defense a lot. And I would venture to say that if they would have put on this tide of defense to begin with, it would be a different game for them. But they did not start off this intense. You know, though, that said, now maybe maybe setting that kind of a an expectation would have demoralized the comments. 
But even in spite of that, the Comets so far have won the three quarters we've played. That's even, very true. Even as the defense has gotten tighter and tighter. Oh, cross court. Yeah, the Comets are definitely looking to hold the ball, I believe, as And much as foul there on number three, Owen Valaket. That'll be his second. Foul number three, Valaket is second. I say because the, the lane will open up some, but they just keep going at the top. I'm venturing to say trying to hold it, but just looking for that perfect opportunity to Absolutely. take it in and yeah. get a good shot, which is a really smart way to play. <laughs> Excuse me. More points on the board if you can, but oh. if you can't, so be it. Lau missing that free throw. Cavs picking up the rebound. Long three. Off, Off the money. There we go. There's another foul. You know, I can't tell Foul if they're number 20. purposely fouling now just to get the ball. Could be. Uh, that was I mean, King's that fourth, happens. though. Or if it's all just accidental, because I mean, now they're going on a run of fouling. It was yep. us, and now it's them, and kind of both of us, actually. And there we go. Rock Wolf getting the drop. Then not there. That's the bad thing about that much backspin is if you're not, if you're off to the right or the left, it's gonna do that. Whoa. whoa. And Valcat missing that layup. Yeah, they're purposely fouling. Cause he just full on grabs them. I mean, yeah, they're looking to get the ball. It's just well, hopefully they put. Honestly, though, they have a lot of guys who have fouls to give. Yeah, they they really do, but hopefully they keep fouling our good shooters. Absolutely. I mean, that would be great. Yeah, when I look at who they're sending to the line, I question their strategy. Well, yeah. <coughs> Zyder and Shane Law both back in. There we go, that's good. Two for two from the line there for Spin. Oh, pushing the ball. Ooh. Ref, ref almost getting in there. Time out called by the Cavaliers. The basket was by Valaquet. Valaquet making a basket right, right before the timeout. And, uh, man, just, uh, wow. I do not know where this game is going to go. I mean, it's still close. They're putting us to the line, but then, you know, I we kind of trade off occasionally. That strategy, though, with the deficit they're at, I think that it's going to come back and bite them. Because right now, wait, wait, 12, 18, 20, 22. 22 more games for the Cavaliers. We're 14 for 22 right now from the line. So, you know, I, I just, I don't think that the strategy is going to serve them well. You know, if, if they were looking at a, a two for seven. There uh, we go. Mike making so a break for it. Nope, oh, over to Shane Love. Shane Love for two. That was a really good run there, actually. Very well thought out. And those two definitely... They understood each other. Yep. And that's what Man a good going to the team basket. does. Off the mark. They know where each other's going to be at. They don't need that reassurance. Spin stuck. There we go. Oh, we need to get it across. And there's a 10-second violation. Yeah. Well, I don't understand. Shane Lobb had it about volleyball yeah, I don't, line. I don't know why he didn't send no it forward. there was no one between him and the basket. There was people at the sides of him, but there was no one between him and to the front of that rim. So I don't know why he didn't just. Uh, it's hard saying. I mean, you know, and sometimes you forget to look towards the basket, especially with so much going on and so, uh, you know, them running the ball. Sam Smith going in for Mike. 
Oh. Three-point attempt off the mark. There we go. Yeah, there's a foul. <laughs> <laughs> foul was on number 10, Owen Klingler, his uh, second. Uh, Shane Lobb tonight is six for seven from the line. Of course, he has sat for a little while since he is sitting on four fouls himself. Yep, that doesn't matter, though. It didn't seem to ice him as we just jinxed it. Well, at least we got one, I guess. Yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. yeah we're going to stop talking, Blair. We're, we retire. Retiring early. And three-point attempt off the mark. Oh, really trying Spin to draw that trouble. foul. I mean, you could see nice. them really. Nicely done by Lau. Can kick it out to the ring. And looks like a foul there on man. It's his oh, second. Again, when I look at who they're fouling. <laughs> Wait. Take a shot up. There we go. Okay, now go you back. can talk about who they're sending to the line. Well, they're just, <laughs> they're sending guys who have great percent and traditionally have great percentages. It, it's not like we're talking about guys who are just on fire tonight. Yeah, We're no. talking about guys that if, if they watch film, they're going to say, they okay, don't send these guys to the line. They have themselves, yeah. you know, capable. There's Pull a three. Up, long rebound. Leaving Rockwell relatively open. Well, at Taking this point, we're, su we're sub one minute left on the clock. There's Brummett back in. Actually, we have several new faces in right now. Uh, we have Brummett. I believe that's Rudisol. Uh, and Sam Smith's back in the game. Just looking to move the ball around. If uh, an opportunity presents itself, I'm sure they'll take it. Oh, his foot was off. I'm kind of surprised they didn't call man, uh, man for a foul on that. Yeah, but it's to the point in the game right. where they're like, if it, if they're, you did not full on take someone out, <laughs> you know, just let it let it be. No blood, no foul. Yeah, I mean, the score is at this point 32 right. seconds. I mean, two minutes is a lot. Could come back in two minutes. I don't think they're going to come back after this deficit. Uh, yeah. Uh, they can close the gap as much as possible, but. Two point attempt by uh, uh, Jalen King off. And you know, I remember early in the game we said, you know, that def that 24 points seemed kind of far fetched at far -fetched, the time. Far fetched, and here we are. I mean, we're pretty close. Yeah. 20 point lead right now. Passion. Passion, another oh. new number in. 3.6 seconds, almost yeah. ran the clock, and we have a hard pass out of bounds. I mean. Three. <laughs> nice. You know. So, I mean, I guess now it's not a 20 point lead, but we'll still take it. Oh, well, I mean, absolutely. Is again, it? this game could have gone absolutely any direction. And yeah, early on they it definitely played till the end. And, and props to them for that. All right, oh, yeah. well, we're going to step away here for a few words from our sponsors while I try to tally up some numbers. And uh, then we'll be back and we'll talk about some numbers and we will talk to uh, Coach Davis. Stay tuned. This is Casting TV on RTC TV4. Got that new home edition and you're keeping it covered. Ooh, coverages now. I can help with this. Got zone coverage, man coverage, combo coverages. I don't know, Peyton. I think more like the coverage your nationwide agent offers. Oh, you want to go there? Home, 
auto, life, business, farm, boat, RV, ATV, camper, pet, motorcycle, your tour bus, right. and I mentioned farm. Contact Jennings Insurance Agency today or visit one of our offices in Argus and Rochester. Community State Bank has maintained a tradition of service since opening our doors in May of 1930. For the past 88 years, we have been committed to building personal relationships in all of the communities we serve. Offering both personal and business accounts, Community State Bank is your local friend and neighbor. Stop by any of our local offices to set up your accounts today. Online at csbnetbank.com. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Have some final stats here. Uh, Comets end up, ended up shooting uh, 4 for 11 outside the arc, 10 for 18 uh, inside field goal territory, and 18 for 26 from the line. Uh, 12 total fouls for the night, 8 of those coming in the second half. They didn't sit anybody down. Uh, the Cavaliers shot only four for 17 three-point territory uh finished up the night nine for 25 inside the arc and only two for seven at the line Pick, picked up 13 fouls in the second half for a total of 16. Um, final score once again it is still up on screen on the screen comets 49 uh culver 32 and uh boy if they hadn't if they hadn't went on that fouling streak for whatever their strategy was there, uh, once again, 18 of the Comets points coming from the free throw line. Um, turnovers stayed pretty consistent. Uh, and again, fourth quarter, there was enough going on. I missed some rebounds and stuff. But uh, I had them flip-flopping. Uh, Comets with six in the third. And Culver with eight in the fourth. Or uh, Caston with eight in the fourth. Culver with eight in the third and six in the fourth. So again, turnovers, uh, those that gets messy through a, through a really exciting game like that. But, um, you know, it came down to in the first half, that's the crazy thing. First half, uh, two point territory, the Cavs were shooting six for 10 and then they ended the night at nine for 25. That's just a huge wow. step up in the uh, pressure that we were able to put on so that they, uh, just shut down their scoring. 
And we've got Coach Davis just about up here to the table. So uh, we will give him a moment to get his ears and mouth on. Coach, congratulations. That uh, turned out to be a big win that uh, I, John Harrell was predicting 24 points. And at the end of the third, I, I wasn't sure. I mean, obviously it was looking good for the Comets, but I wasn't sure we'd get a spread like we'd ended up with. So um, what were you happy with? What would you have liked to have seen improve? Well, I thought, you know, I, I don't think it was, you could say it was a pretty game for us. Um, you know, having having two weeks off and, and coming out here and playing, I thought, you know, I thought it looked like it at times. Other times I thought we executed pretty well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't pretty, but, you know, they, you know, just a little bit at a time kind of stretched that lead out as the game went along. And, you know, when you get stops and rebounds on the other end, okay, it makes it it makes it a lot easier to stretch that lead out. I think that's what it was. It was just kind. Of, it was never a big run from either side. It was just kind of uh, slow, methodical, and uh, we're able to stretch it out and hit some free throws down the stretch. Right, absolutely. And then there in the third, we had that long uh, scoring drought. They had just both teams playing really good defense. So I'm mean, I'm gonna ask you to, to give some conjecture here. What do you think the strategy was there when they kept sending our guys to the line? I mean, 18 of our points came from the free throw line tonight, and I'm just not sure what, what yeah, the strategy there was. Yeah, I think they were just trying to get out and be aggressive and uh, try to force some turnovers, and I thought I thought when they came out and, and got us, we did a really good job of taking care of the ball. I think, you know, our turnovers came more in the half court when we were, were just running our stuff, and I thought we got a little careless. And, again, you know, those are things we have to clean up, but, uh, you know, again, these kids, they continue to, to fight and continue to find ways to win, and uh, they did it again tonight. Absolutely. Well, congratulations on tonight's win. Congratulations on a winning season so far, and we look forward to the next time. Thank you. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, I'm Blair Zimmerman. We will be back again tomorrow for a 2.30 Lady Comets tip-off. Um, I'm going to let Aubrey put her ears back on and uh, hope to see you get some floor time tomorrow. I know that you said that you, uh, you, you, had, you tweaked a leg tonight at practice, so I know that might might complicate things for you. Yeah, I doubt that'll affect my playing time. <laughs> but, so, anyway, thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, uh, no, not Autumn. Autumn was on camera. You're Aubrey. I'm Aubrey, Ladies yes, and gentlemen. hello. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Until next time, this is Casting TV on RTC TV4. Yeah.